Welcome back to the channel guys and today I'm going to be going through how to dismantle the side mirror on an early Porsche 944. Now the reason I'm making this video is that the early Porsche 944 mirrors have slightly different internals um, to the later ones and I couldn't find any videos on YouTube on how to actually take these things apart. So I thought, hey, why not make one? Now, why would you want to take these apart? Well, you may want to replace the glass on it or you may want to dismantle the entire thing in preparation for paint, which is exactly what I need to do because I'm restoring my 1983 Porsche 944. So if you're interested in seeing how that project is going, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, that way you won't miss out on any of those updates. But with that being said, let's crack on. So in terms of tooling that you're gonna need, you need an eight mil socket, you need a Phillips screwdriver and something like a spatula paint scraper or a flathead screwdriver so that we can lever that glass off. All right, let's get to it. Now I have to say the design of the early mirrors is pretty bad. It's, uh, it's a good thing that they revised it for the later model 944s because they're a bit of a bugger to, to get apart. Um, as a result, a lot of these are taken apart incorrectly and then put together incorrectly, which I suspect is the case with this one because I can already see some celastic behind the glass, which shouldn't be there. Um, but yeah, so the first thing you need to do is actually take the glass off. Um, and that is held in with three kind of rubber pins that just hold the glass in place into, onto a metal plate. So we're gonna slowly lever that off um, and in my case, hopefully it's not gonna break because of the celastic that's at the back there. But yes, use your spatula or your Phillips head screwdriver and really gently just lever that glass off. myself a sharp blade because like I said someone has done this incorrectly so there is some celastic behind there and I'm just cutting that free from this side of the mirror okay that's that side done the other side should be clipped in correctly ah there we go that's popped off so then the glass should just pop straight off and you'll have a couple of cables that are attached. Let's have a look. Yep, you can see the cables attached right there. And then just pop those off. And your glass is free. Now this one does not look the way it should do, but I do have one that I took out before. And basically this is how it should look with those three pins and they are held in with these rubber sockets on that metal frame there. So ignoring this rubbish here, that is how you get the glass out of your 944 mirror. So once you've got your glass out, you do actually need one more additional tool and that is a small drill to take out these four rivets that sit inside that metal plate. And once those are out, that metal plate comes out and then we can start dismantling the rubber. The rubber can't come off um, by itself. Uh, you need to actually take it off from the inside. So let me grab that drill and uh, we'll drill those out. All right, there we go. That's those rivets out and then that metal plate should just pop off. just like that. Okay, now with that removed, you can see the internals of the actual mirror. And you'll notice there's four eight mil bolts here. So we can go ahead and take those out. And obviously it goes without saying, because we've drilled some rivets out, um, to put this back into place, you will of course need a uh, rivet tool, but that's pretty pretty simple. Most people have got those in their garage. All right, so with those three um, eight mil bolts removed, you'll notice that the whole rubber piece actually lifts off. 
and that leaves you with the actual shell, um, which is great if you're trying to repaint. But for now, um, that's really it. Inside here, you'll have the motorized mechanism. Now, if that mechanism has failed, there is a way of actually getting um, this apart as well, and I will show you that in just a minute. But the first thing I need to do is actually just pull the cables out from the casing itself. And because I've actually cut these when I took them off the car, I can just feed them through that hole and then that casing is free. I'll come back to that in just a minute. Now, if you do need to get the mechanism out of here, if you look on the back of it, you'll notice three um, screws, but it's the wrong end, if, if that makes sense. You can see the screws are coming from the inside. Now, this plastic cover or this kind of boot that sits around the mechanism can't be removed until you take the mechanism out, which makes you wonder, how do you actually get to the screws? Well, it's fairly flexible, so you actually have to move the cover out of the way and get your Phillips head screwdriver in there and just basically undo all three of them. It's as simple as that. That's one, that's two, and the last one, just pull that back. I think that's got it. And then the whole mechanism just lifts out just like that. And if you actually, at this point, can peel that little rubber boot away, and you'll see everything that's inside, including the motors. So if you did need to replace this, for example, that is how you get to it. Now, in my case, obviously, I don't need to take this off, so I'm gonna reassemble this um, a bit later once the car's put back together. Um, the only thing that you'll need to know is, obviously, the four rivets kind of slot into this plastic frame here. So just pop those out from underneath or drill them out, and then when you put the glass, uh, sorry, when you put the backing plate back on, it's just a matter of lining it up and putting four new rivets in place. And then the glass simply just pops back into those plastic little plugs. So we'll put that aside. Now, with the casing itself, if you want to take this apart a little bit further because you want to paint it, there are three screws on the inside here. And that will basically detach the main section from the actual arm. So we'll go ahead and take those apart. And of course, they can be a little bit tricky, but I suspect that this hasn't been taken apart in how old is the car now? Nearly 40 years old. So give them a little bit of love, and a little bit of coercion, and they should pop out in the end. And there we go. There's the mirror in two sections, so I can get ahead and uh, start sanding these down in preparation for paint. And then to put it all back together, obviously it's exactly the reverse. Um, so there you go guys, that is how you dismantle the side mirror on an early Porsche 944. I hope that's been helpful for some of you. Um, obviously if it has, give the video a like and remember to subscribe to the channel so that you can watch the progress of the restoration of my 1983 Porsche 944. But that's it for now, I'll see you in the next video.